Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I'm your host, your host, and as usual in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. Today with the bitwise global few sample question which uh, you should practice because they give uh, quick uh, rounds of uh, aptitude questions like in abstract reasoning six questions which we need to do in 10 minutes analytical ability which is again verbal reasoning basically six questions to be done in 10 minutes numerical ability you can see eight mcqs eight questions which we need to do in 10 minutes and we need to be really quick here data analysis that is data interpretation part uh, there also they ask eight questions which we are supposed to do it in 10 minutes verbal english same eight questions but for that 15 minutes are given then we have hands on programming three coding which you need to write in 60 minutes and then mcqs on sql so before we move forward please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and do pause the session try to solve it yourself and then look out for the solution so on this note let's start now So here we have the first one and it is from reasoning, verbal reasoning. Six friends sitting arrangement. Six friends, P, Q, R, S, T and U are standing in a circle. Q is between U and R. P is between T and S. U is to the left of S. So we have S and to the left is U. And since nothing is given about like whether they are facing inside the circle or outside the circle, it's a normal assumption that we always assume that they all are actually facing inside the circle. So we have U to the left of S, then uh, Q is between U and R, here we should have Q and then this is R, P, 1, 2, 3, 4. P is between S and T. So we have S and then we should have P and here we should have T. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 people standing like this. Who is between P and U? Between P and U is S. Option D is the pick. Okay, one more example from sitting arrangements. Bittu is in between Mohan and Salendra. Raju is to the left of Salendra and Sanju is to the right of Mohan. If all of his friends are sitting facing south, but we are always convenient when we are like uh, arranging people in the north. And let me make this as north. Then Bittu is between Mohan and Salendra. Raju is to the left. No, it will become right. And Sanju is to the left. Then who is on the extreme right? Who is on the extreme left? Simple. Raju is to the right of Salendra. Salendra, right is Raju. And Sanju is to the left of Mohan. Bittu is between Mohan and Salendra. Salendra, Bittu, Mohan. Sanju is to the left of Mohan. Left of Mohan is Sanju. Done. Then who is at the extreme left? Sanju is to the extreme left. Option C fits in. Okay, this time from numerical ability and a question from time and work. We know that where to find all the rules related to time and work solving. That is rule 8, the CM rule that we, we would be using. A takes twice as much time as B. So if B takes X days, A will take 2X days to complete the work. And C takes thrice as much time as B. That means C takes 3X days to finish a piece of work. Working together, they can finish the work in 18 days. Now if we use rule 8, the CM rule, what we first need to find is common multiple of 2, 1 and 3 that is 6. Now 6x by 2x is 3. 6x by x is 6. 
and 6x by 3x is 2. So if we add this, we will get 11. That means A, B and C together will take 6x by 11 days to complete the work, which is equivalent to 18 days as given in the sum. On solving, we get x is equals to 33 days. x is 33, not days, x is 33. The number of days A need to do the work alone is 2x. So 2 into x is 66. A will take 66 days to complete this work. Option C is the pick. Please go through rule 8, the CM rule to dwell deeper into these concepts. One of a poor person found that due to fall in price of Dalia by 21 by 2 percent, he can buy 21 kg more for rupees 3580 than before. We can use our rule 1 line changing rule to solve this, but uh, I often request you people to use rule 1 when these percentages are like whole numbers and you can use that rule very quickly. In case of non-whole numbers, uh, you might find it complicated to use. So we can use, we can start with the traditional format that is picking up a number. And now how to pick a number is also dependent upon this percentage. Since it is divided by 2, let me pick a number, P is 20. So suppose P was 20 and now the price have increased by 21.2%. So 20 into 21 by 200, 2.10, new price have become 22.10. Now let us see that what is the difference between the quantity amount purchased. So at rupees 20, quantity purchase is 3580 by 20, that is 179 kgs. Sorry, we need to adjust here. Price have fallen. So new price is 20 minus 2.1. That is 17.9. So new quantity purchase is 3580 by 17.9. This is 2. 200 kgs. Bingo. The difference between these two is 21 kg. That means whatever price we have taken is actually the price initially. So initial price of Dalia was 20. Then he started thinking that if price have risen by 21.2%, that means if new price is 20 plus 2.1, that is 22.1, then how much Dalia would he have bought for the same amount? Here we need 3580 by 22.1 and this will come close to 162 kgs. Option A will be the fit here. If you don't want to take a price or you don't want to assume any price, then obviously uh, if price was P, then uh, quantity purchase was 3580 by P. Now price is like uh, increased by 21.2%. So price has become 1 plus 21 by 200. That is 221 by 200 P. So 3580 by 221 by 200p minus this should be equals to 21. We need to solve this and find the value of p. And then we will get p equals to 20. Once we have this p equals to 20, we need to come back to this point. New price after the increase would be 22.1 and the quantity purchase would be 162 kgs. Let's take up one more question from time and work and rule 8 is the key. A and B can work in 20 by 3 days or can complete a work in 20 by 3 days. If A and B are working, they can complete it in 20 by 3 days. B and C are working, they can do it in 8, 2 by 11, that is 88 plus 2, 90 by 11 days. And if C and A are working together, they would complete the work in 7, 1 by 5, 35, 36 by 5 days. In what time B alone can do the same work? For that, what we need is 
total of us a b and c if we look at this left hand side when we are adding this we can get twice twice of a b and c and here we would be using our cm rule so 20 90 36 uh, 4 uh let it be 10 into 9 into 4 so divided by 20 by 3 20 gone 18 so what we are actually doing is 10 into 9 into 4 this is divided by 20 by 3 that would be 3 by 20 so this will give 9 into 6 54 So the next would be ten into nine into four divided by ninety by eleven, that would be forty-four. Then ten nine four divided by thirty-six by five, that is fifty. So this gives me eight one forty-eight. So twice a plus b plus c will take three sixty by one forty-eight days to complete. A plus b plus c will take. 360 into 2 by 148, that is 180 by 37 days to complete the work. Now we need to know in what time B alone can do the work. So from A plus B plus C, if I subtract C plus A, I'll get the value of B. So B alone will take 180 by 37 into 36 by 5 by 180 by 37 minus 36 by 5. That would be one eighty into thirty six by four thirty two, and this should be equals to fifteen. B alone will do the work in fifteen days. Now, why I have again taken up this question is just to show that whether we can do this in one instant or not using our rule eight. Like they have asked us that how much time will B alone will take? If we see A plus B plus B plus C, and if we deduct C and A from it. On the left hand side, what we'll get is two b. So instead of adding these three, we will deduct the third part and we'll continue with the rest. So twenty ninety thirty six, uh, we have that uh, as a uh, ten into nine into four, that is three sixty. We have already done this. This is fifty four. This was forty four, and this will be minus fifty. Fifty-four plus forty-four minus fifty will give forty-eight. Bingo. Two B will take thirty-six by forty-eight days to complete the work. Twelve four, twelve thirty. B will take thirty into two by four, that is fifteen days to do the work alone. I think this process fits in more readily. Okay, sample question from averages. The average run scored by V K in four matches is forty-eight. So forty-eight into four is two, three, one ninety-two. These are the scores of four matches. One ninety-two is the total score. In the fifth match, V K scored some runs. Suppose X runs, such that the average now becomes sixty. So sixty into five is three hundred. That means in the fifth match, run score are three hundred minus one ninety two. That is one zero eight. In the sixth innings, he scored twelve runs more than the fifth innings. So sixth innings is one zero eight plus twelve one twenty. And now the average of his last five innings becomes seventy eight. Last five innings means second. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. This have become seventy-eight into five. If we do forty-three ninety, we know the score of uh, sixth one. We know the score of fifth one, and we know the score of one, two, three, four also. How many runs did he score in his first innings? Given that he does not remain, sorry, he does not remain not out in any of the innings. Very good. So the total of the first four was one ninety two. So suppose this is F. So two three four is 
192 minus F plus 5 is 108 plus 120 this is equals to 390 so we have got here 1 2 300 420 minus 390 equals the score in the first inning that is 30 option A is the pick A jeweler has five gold necklaces, P, Q, R, S, T, each having a different way, P, Q, R, S, T, P weight twice as much as Q, so if Q is X, P is 2X. Q weights four and a half times as much as R. So let us take R as X. Then Q is 4.5X and P is 9X. R weight half as much as S. Weight of R is half of S. That means S is 2X. So we have got weight of 4 till this point. S weight half as much as T. So, T weight is 4x. We have got weight of all the 5 till this point. Now, fifth statement says T weight less than P. T weight less than P, obviously. But more than R, more than R. That is also fine. Which of the above given statement is not necessary to determine the correct order of necklace according to their weight? We can see that if... Statement number 5 is not given, then also we can find the weight of all the 5 necklaces. That means statement number 5 is not required. Option C is the pick. Moving on to one of the last question of this session, sample questions for Witwise Global and it is from verbal sitting arrangement again. Four boys are sitting on a bench to be photographed. Sumit is to the left of Rahul. Okay. So let they are facing the photographer there. Sumit is to the left of Rahul. Mohan is to the right of Rahul. Rishav is between Rahul and Mohan. Between Rahul and Mohan is Rishav. So this is the arrangement. Who would be second from the left? Second from the left is Rahul. Option D is the pick. So thank you everyone for participating. This is Mojan signing off from MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. On this hope that you will come back soon. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it. Keep on practicing samples to your question. You never know that when you will end up getting the same kind of questions. And let us know in the comment box that which company simple questions you want us to discuss. So on this note, happy holy to everyone and play safe.